Hey friends, Ableton 11 is finally out, and to celebrate, I'm gonna give you something super radical tubular that you can actually use to make awesome music for free. Every once in a while, humans experience a groundbreaking technological discovery. Starring Ableton Operator, Wavetable, and Electric, with special guests, the new Redux, Corpus, and Hybrid Reverb, this summer, Actually, not the summer. Right now, I give you the random preset generators. Sorry, that was really stupid. Y'all, I had a holy guacamole moment recently while messing around with Ableton 11. Check this out. And so I always saw a lot of potential in Ableton instrument racks. There's just a lot that you can do with them. And something that Ableton 11 added was the ability to randomize the parameters, right? So you got all these parameters and you can add parameters. So in case you didn't know, in Ableton 11, you can hit this little plus button, right? And you can add macros up to 16, which is cool. But what I want to show you is that, so I'm playing this. This is just a classic Wurlitzer piano. And if I hit the random button, right, it'll randomize the position of these knobs, right? But it's all, <laughs> it's like I hit it once and now this is an unusable sound, right? Hit it again. That one's super loud. Hit it again. I can't even hear it. And so that's pretty dumb. But when I was looking at this and I was looking at, okay, random, that's a really rad idea. But it doesn't really work in the context of what already exists, right? Like in the context of all these instrument racks, it's stupid. So what I decided to do is something that I really think you're going to find super useful. I created what I like to call random preset generators. And let me explain this a little bit. So this one's the analog base, but basically it's a wavetable. What I did was I took all the pertinent controls that I felt was important to create an analog base sound, right? And I constrained the range of the random so that every time you hit random, you're going to get hopefully a relatively usable sound. Well, at least one out of every maybe three times you hit random, you'll get something that you'll actually want to use. And it works! I can't believe it, but it actually works. Okay, so check this out. Here's the sound that you get when you just load up the analog bass random preset generator. But let me hit random. I'll hit it again. I'll hit random again. So I, I can't even believe how amazing this is, right? And so it gets even better than this, but hang on a second. What I want to show you is that in Ableton 11, you can do this thing called snapshots. So let's say you like something that you made by hitting the random button, doing literally nothing else. You can then save it. And the way that you save it is you hit this little snapshots button, right? And then this like macro variations thing comes up and you can save a snapshot of the position of these knobs. So I'm gonna hit new, and this is kind of like a, I'll rename this to like metallic. Uh, and then I'll hit random again, right? Dumb. Oh, that's rad. And I'll hit new and I'll call this octave E, <laughs> right? So I can just keep doing this. Cool. This one will be phasey, right? And look, I can just, I can save these randoms. Metallic, octave E. Phasey, and boom, I've just got these to use whenever I want. So, yeah, it's random, but it's going to yield you usable results, right? You think that's cool, it gets even better. So let me grab a different one, all right? I also made one for Ableton Electric. So I call it Random Keys. So this was the first one that I made because I wanted to solve the, like, electric piano problem where I would hit random and it would just make a crappy preset. This should make you a decent preset every time you hit random.
Check this out. It gets even cooler. In case you didn't know, Ableton's Redux got a total upgrade, right? So now Redux is... I love it. Now, I mean, Redux, it does everything I wish that it had done before. But what I did is I took a Redux and the new Chorus Ensemble, and I created this random lo-fi preset generator, right? So... Putting this after keys is really rad. So I can hit random on the keys, for example. And then I can hit random on the preset generator. And just get insanely awesome results super fast. So random, random. Whoa. Right? Lo-fi beats to study to for days. But wait, there's more. So that's those two. I also made another one, and this one's polyphonic, and it's using operator, right? So I constrained operators stuff down into hopefully usable sounds. If I hit random, so this is more like your FM voice. Now, this pairs really nicely with another random preset generator, and that is the Space Designer, which is using Ableton's, of course, brand new hybrid reverb, which is unbelievably awesome, okay? Now, this is incredible to me, okay? I'll hit random. Let's randomize it again. What? This is so cool. Unbelievable. Okay, and so finally I want to show you a more subtle one, but one that's like really rad. I made one called the Random Resonance, and what this is, is this is just a corpus but I think corpus is potentially mysterious to people and they don't really understand how it works. For like ambient creations, this is going to create uh, little tiny pockets of space for the sound to occupy. That's the best way to describe what I mean. So check it out. Right, here's without it. Kind of a vanilla sound, but with this random resonance, you get... Let's try some different randos. Isn't that awesome? And that pairs, of course, really well with the classic lo-fi, right? So I'm not going to stop at making just six devices. To me, this is so useful as a songwriter, as somebody who wants to just sit down and get inspired to write something. Sometimes just picking a, a sound that I really enjoy is something enough to inspire me to start writing, right? And so I'm giving these to you for free. You can just have them. They're in this link over here or over here. I don't remember which side it is. And remember, this is only for Ableton 11 users. I'm going to continue to create these, and I'm going to give them, of course, to my course students. If you didn't know, I also teach Ableton online courses. And if you're interested in learning more about that, the link is in the description and in the comments. But um, I really hope you use these. And if you make music with these random preset generators, just share it with me. I, I would love to, you know, put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you come up with with these. I I'm just so blown away at this potential. And I also want to say I've been using Ableton Beta for a couple months, and it's blown my mind. There are so many possibilities that I'm going to share with you in the coming weeks. So if you're stoked for that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Much love, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.